Hello friends, this is an FMG roadmap session for all the aspirants appearing for FMG exam on 17 January 2026. I know a lot of graduates have graduated from Russia, Georgia, Armenia, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Philippines and many other countries have now come back to India and are preparing for this exam. And many of you have already completed the difficult part of traveling abroad, sustaining the weather, the food conditions, completing semester after semester and coming back to India with your degree. And now you are just one step away from getting your license to practice in our country. And the good thing about this exam is this is not competitive exam. This is a licensing exam. This exam is pretty doable with consistent efforts, a proper strategy and discipline. I have seen hundreds of graduates in their first attempt with proper strategy and discipline able to crack this exam with flying colors with very high scores. And uh, this is not an exam where you aim for perfection. This is an exam where you can achieve easily those 150 marks which will help you to get your license to practice in our country. And now it's important to understand this exam. This is a 300 marks paper with a passing score of 150 and all the good students, I strongly recommend you to target 165 to be eligible for future INS at exams. So 150 will get you the license and 165 will get you the eligibility to appear for future INS at exams. And this is a two part exam. You have a morning shift between 9 to 11.30 and lunch break followed by an afternoon shift between 2 to 4.30 and there are no negative markings. So you have to attempt all the 300 questions. And when you're preparing for these exams, it is important to have the proper subject weightage. You have some high yield subjects, which gives you 25 to 30 marks in the exam. These are your OBG, obstetrics and gynecology, surgery, medicine, PSM, even subjects like patho and pharma are very high yield. And there are some intermediate subjects that gives you scores between 15 to 20 marks. And these are your anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, microbiology and even forensic and you know radiology can give you 10 to 15 marks. ENT and Ophthal are also important in this category. Then you have short subjects. In the short subjects, we have psychiatry, anesthesia, derma, orthopedics which can give you around 5 to 6 marks. So when you are preparing for your exam, see that you allot the time accordingly to all these subjects. But doing all 19 subjects is essential. Today your exams are clinical and integrated. So please see to it that you complete all 19 subjects. Don't go for a preparation which only helps you complete 12 to 14 subjects. Make it a rule, let the training be hard, have a journey where you try to complete all the 19 subjects. Now let's look at the preparation strategy. If we analyze the previous exams, your immediate seniors who graduated and wrote their first FMG exam, they wrote their exam in January 2025. And we had a pass percentage of close to around 29.5%. And the recent July 2025 results, they have been about 20%. So chances of clearing in the first attempt are much higher. So please protect your first attempt, give your sincere efforts in your first attempt. And when you are preparing for your FMG exam, you may be either be following face-to-face -face lectures or online live lectures or pre-recorded content where you are provided with a workbook, you are listening to the class, you are completing your workbook and also trying to do subject-wise MCQs. And in this thing, it is important to stay committed to the schedule. Easiest way that you can complete your preparation is to just stick to the schedule. Do not give lot of gaps in your academic schedule. Yes, there were going to be phases where you're not going to be 100%. You're going to have some low days in between. Please bounce back. Please come back on track. See that you follow the schedule as much as possible. And during your preparation, don't completely get engrossed into theory without applying that knowledge on the MCQs. This balance between having a proper theory content built and applying that onto your MCQs is important during your preparation phase. Trust the process, trust your teachers, trust the workbook that you're filling in. Revise them the same day and use that knowledge to solve the MCQs topic-wise, subject-wise. Not just random MCQs from some telegram group, some WhatsApp group. 
that does not give you a sense of completion and there will be gaps left behind in your preparation. So please do the workbook thoroughly and do topic wise MCQs. You have done a topic of CT scan, go back and do MCQs of CT scan. You have done a topic of respiratory radiology, go back and do MCQs of respiratory radiology. Don't be completely engrossed and completely overthinking and overdoing theory. Don't be completely engrossed in you know blindly doing MCQs without understanding the context or the concepts behind. So this perfect balance between the theory and your MCQs is going to get you results. And uh, I see many students also looking at easy way outs. You want to do a very superficial content, a content of two hours, a content of which is very thin number of pages. Remember your exam is not going to see how many questions you completed, is not going to see how fast you completed, how many times you completed. He is going to test you, do you have the concepts that are important for your medical practice. So do the subjects with the due time that they are needed. Do them well, do them nicely, let your training be hard and your exam will be easier. If your training itself is easy and playful, you will find the exams, the questions difficult. So please commit to this process. And if you follow a consistent schedule, if you follow an academic calendar, without lot of breaks in between and you follow it with discipline and consistency, you will surely clear in the first attempt. And during this preparation phase, it is important to take note of few things. It is important to have a proper sleep-wake cycle. It is important to restrict your screen time. Remember, we all have a limited energy packets. You cannot consume your energy going out dining, going out with friends for movies and stuff. It is important that you keep your energy, you have a short phase of preparation where you have to do all the 19 subjects. Every ounce of your energy should be directed towards your exam. And it is important that what kind of groups that you are keeping around you. Is it an academic group which is helping you evolve better in your academics, which is helping you solve your queries, which is helping you progress in your exam? Or is it a group that is keeping you distracted, negative, demotivated? So the, the group you choose are going to have a lot of influence on, on the preparation. And also don't be too isolated. It is important to stay connected to your family, talk to your friends, right? Stay motivated, motivate your friends, motivate each other. This is not a competitive exam. All of you can get through this exam by scoring 150 and I have seen group of friends coming together, assisting each other and all of them scoring very high scores in the first attempt. Avoid your social media interaction. You can stay away from social media for this six months. Nothing will gonna change, the world is not gonna run away anywhere. You can come back with your success stories. So try to avoid your energy getting lost into unproductive work. And please have faith in the process, trust your resources, the faculty that you're listening to, the materials, the workbooks that you're making. You don't have to go for everything. This exam is not about knowing everything. This exam is about just crossing that line of 150. If you can trust your process, Give your 100%, avoid procrastination, avoid being haphazard in your preparation, avoid looking for easy way out and you know not doing stupid stuff during this phase, being serious about this exam, right, will help you clear this exam in the first attempt. Please remember, this is the first gift that you can give to your family. This is not an easy exam, an exam which has a pass percentage of 29.5%, 20%, you cannot take casual approach to this exam. So if you haven't pulled up your socks, this is the time. Become rigid, become focused and get this done for once. So remember, if you can complete your 19 subjects, do your MCQ practice regularly, plan for 2-3 to three revisions before your exam, you are going to have a good exam. And if you are feeling not very committed or serious about this exam, let me tell you, this exam 149 equals to 0 and 150 is not equal to 300. It is not important whether you are studying better than your classmate, better than your roommate. Are you good enough to clear this line of 150? 149 equals to zero. So always put in your best efforts, sincere efforts, stay humble, get this done. And I'm sure with proper guidance, focused approach, you're all going to clear in the first attempt. And remember your internships that you're getting allotted nowadays is based on the high scores that you're getting in your exam. So 150 is not equal to 300. Try to aim to get more than 200. When you're writing your GTs, see that your baseline score is above 175. 
And uh, I really want to emphasize once again, if at all you are not feeling motivated, if at all you are not putting your 100%, please remember 149 equals to 0. All the support and guidance will be throughout your preparation journey. My best wishes that you get this exam done and give the first gift to your family with your licensing certificate. Best wishes.